welcome back. Fifty-nine years ago, Orville Dumstorff was a teenager in this tiny gym. Very quiet, very quiet. He, he didn't. Uh, he was not a clown or anything like that. He was a nice guy, really a nice man. He wore a class ring, graduated, and joined the Marines. While he was stationed in California, Mr. Dumstorff decided to see the Palomar Mountain Observatory. When I got up there, it was snowing, so they closed the doors on the telescope and. We never got to look at the goose telescope anyway. But things snowballed into a snowball fight. In the chaos, the class ring slipped off his finger, lost forever. Until a few weeks ago, an Oregon woman who bought the band at an estate sale saw the initials and called the high school, where it was returned to its rightful owner. No start running. I start hearing that. And then I take it. Monetary value, it's, it's really not that much, you know, but it's the people that were behind it, you know, that made this whole deal work. Kind of makes you want to hug everybody, you know? And he did, like Larry and Madonna Hill. Orville introduced the two to each other 48 years ago. Not only was today the first time that Orville had stepped foot in the Red Bud High School in more than 50 years, but his class was the first class to graduate from this building. Today, they saw their friend for the first time in a long time. And everything old was new again. It's just exactly like it was when we were here. Exactly like I had imagined, but you know, it was, it's in a lot better shape than I thought. I was impressed how they made this um, so special for one man. And so the story has come full circle, just like that ring that was lost and found 59 years later.